Boeing B-29 Super Fortress, The Dawn of Strategic Bombing, 1944 The Boeing B-29 Super Fortress marked the true beginning of strategic bombing. Developed during World War II, it was created to strike deep into enemy territory, far beyond what any bomber before it could reach. Introduced on May 8, 1944, it became a masterpiece of engineering and innovation. Powered by four Wright R3350 radial engines, the B-29 could fly at 357 miles per hour, reach altitudes of 31,000 feet, and travel over 3,200 miles while carrying an incredible 20,000-pound bomb load. Its pressurized cabin, remote-controlled gun turrets, and long range made it unlike anything the world had seen. The B-29 proved its might in the Pacific, devastating Japanese cities, and delivering the atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, forever changing history. More than 3,900 units were built, making it the largest bomber production run of the war. The B-29 marked the transition from piston-powered aircraft to a new era of strategic air dominance. Convair B-36 Peacemaker the Giant of the Cold War, 1948. After World War II, a new challenge arose, the Cold War. The United States needed a bomber that could strike the Soviet Union without relying on overseas bases. The answer was the Convair B-36 Peacemaker, introduced in 1948. Nicknamed the Peacemaker, this massive aircraft became a symbol of long-range power. With an enormous 230-foot wingspan, it was powered by six piston engines and later fitted with four jet engines, creating the iconic six-turning and four-burning sound. The B-36 could fly nearly 4,000 miles and carry up to 86,000 pounds of bombs, the largest payload of its time. Although its top speed of 435 million miles per hour was modest, the B-36 could soar higher than most fighter planes, making it difficult to intercept. It played a key role in America's nuclear deterrence strategy during the late 1940s and 1950s. A total of 384 units were built, solidifying the B-36's place as the bridge between piston-driven giants and the upcoming jet-powered bombers. Boeing B-50 Superfortress, the bridge to the jet age, 1948. Introduced in 1948, the Boeing B-50 Superfortress was an improved and more powerful version of the famous B-29. It was designed to meet the new demands of the Cold War, offering better performance, range, and reliability. The B-50 was equipped with four Pratt & Whitney R4360 radial engines, each producing over 3,500 horsepower. With a top speed of 394 miles per hour and a combat range of 2,394 miles, it could carry a 20,000-pound payload, including both nuclear and conventional bombs. It also featured a stronger airframe and better pressurization, allowing it to operate more efficiently at high altitudes. The B-50's versatility made it valuable for reconnaissance, aerial refueling, and long-range patrols. Though it entered service during the jet transition era, it helped maintain America's nuclear readiness, while jet bombers like the B-47 were still in development. A total of 370 B-50s were built, marking the final evolution of piston-powered strategic bombers before the world fully embraced jet propulsion. Boeing B-52 Stratofortress, the legend that never dies, 1955 today. Introduced in 1955, the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress became one of the most iconic aircraft in history, a true symbol of American air power and endurance. Designed to carry both nuclear and conventional weapons, the B-52 was built for global reach and unstoppable strength. Powered by eight jet engines, the Stratofortress could reach speeds of 650 miles per hour and fly over 8,800 miles without refueling. Its massive 70,000-pound payload capacity allowed it to carry nuclear bombs, cruise missiles, and precision-guided weapons. More than 744 B-52s were built, and remarkably, this aircraft remains in active service more than 65 years after its debut. From Vietnam to Desert Storm, Afghanistan, and Iraq, the B-52 has proven its adaptability again and again. 
Through countless upgrades, new avionics, and modern engines, the B-52 is expected to serve well into the 2050s, potentially reaching a century of service, an unmatched record in aviation history. The B-52 isn't just a bomber, it's a living legend, a reminder that great design can truly stand the test of time. Convair B-58 Hustler, the supersonic pioneer, 1960. In 1960, the Convair B-58 Hustler made history as the world's first operational supersonic bomber. Sleek, fast, and futuristic, it represented a bold leap into the jet age, built to outrun enemy defenses rather than outgun them. Powered by four General Electric J-79 turbojet engines, the B-58 could reach Mach 2, over 1,300 miles per hour, and soar at altitudes above 63,000 feet. Its unique delta wing design gave it unmatched aerodynamic efficiency for high-speed flight. The B-58 carried a single nuclear bomb in a streamlined pod beneath its fuselage, though it could also deliver smaller conventional weapons. Instead of heavy guns, it relied entirely on speed, altitude, and agility for protection. A revolutionary approach at the time. However, its advanced design came at a cost. The B-58 was expensive, complex to maintain, and required highly skilled pilots. Only 116 units were built, and it served for just a decade. Despite its short career, the B-58 Hustler proved that supersonic strategic bombing was possible. Rockwell B-1 Lancer Speed Meets Stealth 1986 After years of design and debate, the Rockwell B-1 Lancer finally entered service in 1986. Known as the Bone from B-1, this aircraft combined supersonic speed, stealth, and long-range capability, making it one of the most advanced bombers of its era. The B-1 was built to fly fast and low, slipping under enemy radar while delivering devastating precision strikes. Its variable sweep wings allowed it to change shape mid-flight, extended for takeoff and landing, swept back for high-speed missions. Powered by four F-101 turbofan engines, it could reach Mach 1.25 and fly over 3,400 miles without refueling. Capable of carrying 50,000 pounds of nuclear or conventional weapons, the B-1 initially served as part of America's nuclear deterrent force. After arms reduction treaties, it was converted to an all-conventional bomber, excelling in modern conflicts like Iraq and Afghanistan. With advanced terrain following radar, electronic countermeasures, and incredible agility, the B-1 proved that raw speed and stealth could coexist. Over 104 units were built, and the Lancer continues to be a cornerstone of U.S. air power. Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit The Invisible Giant, 1997 The Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, introduced in 1997, marked the beginning of the stealth era where invisibility became the ultimate weapon. Unlike any bomber before it, the B-2 featured a flying wing design with no tail, giving it an incredibly low radar cross-section. To enemy radar, it appeared no bigger than a bird. Powered by four F-118 turbofan engines, the B-2 could cruise at 630 Mailers mice and fly over 6,900 miles without refueling. It carried up to 60,000 pounds of precision-guided bombs, cruise missiles, or nuclear weapons. Its stealth allowed it to penetrate the most heavily defended airspaces without detection or fighter escort. Only 21 B-2s were ever built due to their immense cost, over $2 billion per aircraft when factoring development. But each B-2 represented unmatched technology and precision. The spirit proved its dominance in conflicts such as Kosovo, Iraq, and Afghanistan, often striking key targets in the opening hours of war. Silent, deadly, and unseen, the B-2 remains one of the most advanced aircraft ever built, the bridge between past bombers and the next generation of stealth. Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider, the future of strategic air power, 2027. The Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider represents the next generation of American strategic bombers, a symbol of the future. Developed under the Long Range Strike Bomber LRSB, program, it's designed to replace both the aging B-1 Lancer and B-2 Spirit, combining stealth, range, and advanced technology into one lethal platform. 
expected to enter service around 2027, the B-21 is built with next-level stealth, AI-assisted systems, and networked warfare capabilities. It can carry both nuclear and conventional weapons, with an estimated payload of 20,000 pounds. Unlike earlier bombers that relied on speed or altitude, the Raider depends on deep stealth and digital warfare to survive in heavily defended airspace.